Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the new video of MKR Developer Channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to use expandable text view just like this video. The idea is to have a button by pressing it the text view will be expanded and again by pressing it it will be collapsed. Instead of this button I will use a text view in my application to make it uh, good looking, better than this. For this I've used this uh, github page black cat uh, slash android uh, dash expandable text view. Here down below we have the dependency. We have to copy this and in the android studio here in the gradle in the build.gradle the modular the, at the end down below we have the dependencies and here i will paste it as you see the compile is deprecated so i will click on this uh, ball and here the second one replace compile with the implementation i will use this then i will click on the sync we have to wait for a while okay the sync is done now we need uh, three uh, strings here uh, i wrote uh, c more c less and the text uh, we have a long text uh, random text to display on our expandable text view and in the activity underscore main i have a normal text view i'm going to delete it and here again into the website i have the xml codes so i'm going to use only the expandable text view itself I'm going to paste it here instead of this text and I'm going to connect the constraints here in the constraint layout I need padding I think 20 dp is enough okay and here I need a text view wrap content wrap content and the text can be a string a slash C more okay here we have it i'm going to drag it down connect it to this and connect it to this um, that's good i think uh, just here into the design i'm going to click on it and maybe five dps is enough yeah that's good here in the codes again I have a factor I want to show you here uh, maximum lines that will be displayed here on the collapsed mode so for now it's uh, on 5 based on the website I can write 3 or 2 or even 1 no matter as you wish based on the space that you have on the screen of your application or based on the design that you like uh, for now i will uh, let it be on three uh, that's the design now let's go to the main activity here we have four steps first of all initializing the widgets as always
expandable text view equals to find view by id the type is expandable and i'm going to press alt and enter uh, as you see the library is implemented then r dot id dot expandable text view and i'm going to press uh, control alt and l okay here something is wrong let's go back to the activity underscore main and the id is expandable text view that's good uh, we forget to set an id for this uh, second text view i will call it txt underscore toggle If you face such an error, uh, you can rebuild the project. Most of the times it will be solved. The problem is solved and the second text view is also initialized. The next step is to set animation for the expandable text view. So expandable text view dot set animation duration. Uh, that's okay. Then we have to set the interpolator expandable text view dot set interpolator the first one and then over shoot interpolator in the website all of the codes regarding to the uh, activity and fragments are in java so i've translated the parts that we need uh, to cut lane and I'm using them the rest uh, are extra and uh, if you are familiar with Java you can uh, check them and based on the project use them but uh, the codes that I'm writing now in the Android studio are sufficient for this application then here we have to check if uh, the uh, expandable text view is uh, on the expanded mode or on the collapse mode we have to check the status and uh, set the function set on click listener for the uh, toggle text view uh, in order to uh, change the status of the expandable text view if it's open we have to close it and if it's closed we have to open it so for this dot set on click listener and uh, first of all we have to check the status if expandable text view dot is expanded we are going to close it so the expandable text view should be collapsed and the text of the toggle text view should be changed so 
dot set text r dot a string dot c no and then here else that means if it's not expanded we have to expand it and change the text of the toggle to see less so expandable text view dot expand and then txt underscore toggle dot set text or dot string dot c less that's it let's check it on the emulator Okay, we have the expandable and the toggle texture. I'm going to press it, and as you see, with a nice animation, it will be open and closed. Okay, that was everything about the expandable text view. If you like this content and you want to support me financially, you can click on the link down below in the description and buy me a coffee. And the address of this website and also the source code of this application are available down below in the description box. If you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.